Beth here, and we're today going to show you how to make a solar paneled power computer. Now, let's just talk about the specs here first. We have right here an NVIDIA GT210. We have a phone modem used to connect to our internet. We have 256 megabytes worth of RAM. We have a AMD FX 6350 right here. No, 6300, my bad. And the reason that we have a six core um, CPU is because you're going to need it to power this power supply right here. Now, how do we power the power supply if we're trying to get solar power? Well, it's pretty simple. First off, what you're going to need to do is just simply pour a lot of fucking water over it just to make sure that it's nice and wet, I guess. Because what does the sun attract? Water. Water evaporates, you get power. So, next thing. Let's just take a look at this card right here to see what we're dealing with. As you can see, it's a pretty burnt out card. Now, it's already bent in places. So I'm just going to go ahead and modify it just a little bit. Alright, now it's nice and working. So we're just going to place it. Well, that, fuck it, we don't need it right now. Next thing we need to power this. It's already powered. As you can see, the fan is clearly spinning. So just give a little bit of modification. Alright, right there. Now, we're going to need a screwdriver just to make sure that uh, we got all the pins correctly configured. So right there, we're going to need a power pin right there. Power supply fan right there. And there's about two more jumpers that need to be attacked. But, simple fix to that. It's all good now. So, let's just um, take a look at what's underneath this. Um, probably need to raise that right there. Yeah, fucking stupid son of a bitch. Alright, we have an AMD FX... 4300 or 3063 whatever not needed right now so just to make sure that we're gonna well right now I'm actually teaching how to unlock a CPU core so simply you want to go like this So now the next step we need to do is configure the card correctly. Now, as many of you know, oh shit, well we don't need that anymore. Definitely don't need that. It's the card itself. As you know, a properly configured card always comes with the BIOS that it comes with it. Now, how do we get to the BIOS? Well, it's pretty simple, we just need that right there, and we're into the BIOS. Damn, that fuck dude card got fucked up. It's all fixed now. So then we take the next screwdriver and we just want to stick it right in between there and get this cooler right off. Sorry, bad camera angle. Alright, well, in all our pills, you just take it off and there, bam, the BIOS. Now, let's just get rid of all this shit. And next thing we're going to want to do is just to make sure that it's working is just lay on the ground. Stop it a couple times. You know, maybe throw like a Frisbee. Got a brand new Frisbee. Oh, oh, I almost forgot the RAM. Well, considering the fact that this is only DDR1 and that board takes DDR2, we really don't need this. And the final step is pretty fucking damn simple. You take the hammer, just make sure it's working.